Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick review of Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave. It was published in 2016 and just over 400 pages. The story is set during World War II. Um, it begins right at the start of the war in 1939. Uh, there's three main characters in the story. The first character you're introduced to is Mary North, who comes from a upper-class English family, but she still wants to do her part in the war effort, so she becomes a school teacher. Uh, the other two main characters are Tom and Alistair, who are flatmates. They both enlist. One's assigned to the front lines, uh, the other is assigned to the home front. And as the story goes on, you see how uh, Mary North's character and Tom and Alistair's uh, characters cross paths with each other. Uh, one thing I really like about this book, you get uh, an idea of what life was like not only on the front line, but also back on the home front. Uh, the English knew that it was only a matter of time before Germany was going to bomb London. So you get to see how uh, they prepared the city for the bombing and how they carried on during the bombing of London. Uh, in an inter author's interview that I watched, uh, he said the inspiration for this story came from a box of letters that he found that was written between his grandfather uh, and grandmother during the war. His grandfather was stationed on uh, Malta and his grandmother was a school teacher back in London and the only way they could communicate during the war uh, was by letters. Uh, and that got me thinking, um, nobody really writes letters anymore, so what are future historians going to reference when they're researching a particular event or time period in history. Uh, letters are a great source of first-hand accounts of events in history uh, from people that were actually there. So if there's no letters uh, to go back and reference, it's gonna be interesting to see what future historians uh, are going to be looking at to get first-hand accounts because uh, today the primary um, form of communication is email. Uh, even documents uh, are becoming less and less. Everything is just going paperless uh, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, I highly recommend the book uh, especially if you like historical fiction related to uh, World War II. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the book, and we'll see you next time.